Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. If you don't know me, my name's Mark. I'm a Porsche Cayman owner and my channel, Mark Up 70 is all about the drive. Today is just a very quick vlog update on a couple of changes to this thing. Well, one really. The first of which is the wheels. Now this is in advance of tomorrow's auto solar. You can see here that what I've got on the back is I've got a 17 inch wheel on the back but the 18 inch Cayman S wheel on the front. So why have I done that then? Well, the front 18 inch wheel, the tire size is 235 and the back wheel on the 17s is also 235. So that means that I've got the grip up front from this gorgeous Michelin PS2 and with a quite thin rear tire, relatively, 235 instead of 265 with a Hankook Ventus Prime 3. And that means that I should have a good front end, really good bike, but a mobile rear. So when I'm weaving through those cones, I'm gonna have a lot more ability to control the car just using the throttle. Oh, it's such a good looking thing. And the other thing that's changed in my setup, and you have to forgive the audio because I'm not wearing my microphone today because this is just a real quick on the fly one, is my camera setup on four of these bad boys. Now previously I had an accumulation of GoPros that I've built up over the years. I've got a four session, a four black, I had a five session, a seven black, an eight and a nine. Well under the GoPro subscription that I have, because when I bought the nine I came with the year's free subscription, you can swap a couple of cameras. Um, there's a small fee attached to it. And so what I've actually done is swapped my aging five session, the little cube one, and the seven black, which was good enough, a bit limited in some of the um, fields of view, but it also needed to go in a frame every time you connected it, which had its advantages, but disadvantages as well. So it was quite a bulky thing. So I swapped both of those, and they've sent me a couple more GoPro Hero 9s. So I've now got uh, both of these up here by the camera, the one looking forwards, the one looking at me. They're Hero 9s. Up in the corner there, nice wide shot, another Hero 9, and I've got the Hero 8 on the uh, luggage rack there, or the luggage bar, I should say. As for this thing, though, as a car to drive on a square setup, what a difference it's made. It is so oversteery at the back, especially in conditions like this when it's a bit wet, a bit greasy, the early morning dew on the roads. It's really, really loose at the back. So tomorrow the weather forecast, and it'll all be over by the time you see this, hopefully I'm going to have this uploaded Sunday evening after the auto solo, but tomorrow the weather at the moment is looking pretty good. I expect first thing in the morning it's going to be like this. So those first few runs are going to be quite entertaining. The car should be quite loose at the back, should be quite slippy, slidey. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you join me for that if you want to see those videos. And I may do one long one or I may break it down into two or three bits for the whole day. If you want to see what auto solos are about, I'm going to try and give a bit more of a thorough talk through about what they are, how they work and why you should do them. Because if you don't, you really should. Apologies again for the audio, I suspect this is not coming out too well. But there you go, I'll have a proper microphone on tomorrow. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.